everybody welcome back to sam's cooking today we're going to make sugar cookies so you should have received some flour some sugar and some butter also there was some icing sugar for decorations at the end we're going to go through step by step what you need to do and hopefully you can all join in with us first we need to wash our hands light and fluffy it's getting there so we need to squash all the butter into the sugar <laughs> so it's nice and smooth but now it's went like a butter cream let's add the flour in Do you think this will change the consistency? I think so. Bar, it looks like this. And we're going to make it into a dough. So our options could be if the children want to roll it out and use some cutters, or you can roll it with your hands and just squash it down with a spoon. It's entirely up to you. Is it all coming together? Uh, yeah, it's coming a little bit like breadcrumbs, but I'm sure it'll all stick together into a door. Sure will. Do you want to mix? Let's see. What's it looking like now? You're right, it's like breadcrumbs, isn't it? Yeah. So if you squash it all together, if the children want to get their hands in, they can. It's not a problem. Squish it all together. Oh, what does it look like now? Looks a little bit I wet sand a bit. Wet sand? It sounds like sand when you're pushing it round in the bowl. So if you want to get your hands in, squash it all together. Okay. It feels all squidgy. All squidgy and soft. Mm -hmm. What does like it smell like? It smells like buttery. Can you smell the sugar? No, you can't really mm. smell the sugar. Oh, it does smell. It smells buttery. sweet. Buttery and sweet. Mm. Is it all sticking together? Yeah, definitely. Mm, it's coming together nice, isn't it? Like a biscuit door. Yeah, exactly. Just like a biscuit dough. It looks a little bit like our jammy biscuits from last week, doesn't it? Yeah. Now get some flour to roll your dough out. You can spread out on the workshop and draw letters in it. Oh, should we draw some smiley faces? Yeah. This is good for the children to feel and play with. So your dough biscuit dough should look like this if it's a little bit soft just pop it in the yeah. fridge 
for a little bit. We've halved ours, so if you haven't got a rolling pin, what you can do is you can just roll it into balls and the children can press it out with a spoon or you can use a rolling pin and cut some shapes out of it. So I'm doing the rolling pin one and Sam is doing the ball one. So this pastry is very light so I always go very light with it. Okay, so you can just roll it into little balls and then I'll show you how to flatten them out with a spoon. Or the children could use a fork or a knife to put a pattern in them. That would be a problem. I'm going to get a star shape for mine. I think all the children are superstars. So yeah. if you've got a star shape, I think that would be the one to use. Okay. How are they looking? Mine looks really good. It's down the pastry out the ships. So I've got three stars. One. One's broken. Oh dear. So, if you've rolled them out, I'm going to use a fork just to press them down and put a pattern on them. Okay, I'm going to put a cross on mine. Crisscross. Crisscross, they look good. Okay. So, if you've only got a few out of your door, you can like peel them round the outlines and make another ball of it with the older ball. Oh, I've got a stone here. So I'm just lightly rolling it out with some more shapes. Oh. Never go too hard on it. That's what happens. So now I'm going to print some more sugar cookies. Oh, you done it? Mm. Got it. These are some good stars. If you've got any left over, the children can just play with it. more of my dough out I'm going to change my shape into a circle and I'm just going to lightly press down not too hard and not too light just slightly pick it up and pop it on the tray so I'm going to do so the children can use either a fork or a spoon to put patterns in the biscuit and then pop them in the oven on 170 for around five to eight minutes. If you just keep checking till they go golden brown and then we'll show you some decorations afterwards. Okay, so our biscuits have come out of the oven and this is what they look like. We're gonna do some decoration. You should have received some icing sugar. If you just mix this up again with a little bit of water Okay, just till it's a consistency that you can spread. Okay, so now we've got our biscuits and they're all cool. And we've got some icing sugar. If you've got any sprinkles at home, you can add. Or any sweets, anything they can just pop on top. If not, you can just enjoy using the icing.
So I've got my sprinkles. I'm going for some stars. Thanks for joining us to do our sugar cookies. Take care and we'll see you next week.